And now it is with great pride that we are moving on to the conferment of TIOL Fiscal Heritage Award 2024 on yet another towering figure in India's economic history. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for former Governor of Reserve Bank of India, Dr. Vai We Reddy. Dr. Reddy's visionary leadership and extraordinary contributions to India's financial sector have earned him immense respect nationally and globally. Before I invite Honorable Justice A.K. Patnai. We'll do the presentation of the award in a wee bit now, but for now I would like to invite member of TIO Will Knowledge Foundation, Mr. Sridhar, to please read the citation for Dr. Y.V. Reddy. Thank you so much, uh, Shailendra. Uh, it's a real pleasure to read the citation like others. Dr. Y.V. Reddy is a distinguished figure in the realm of economics whose influence extends far beyond his tenure as the former governor of Reserve Bank of India. With a career spanning several decades, he has made substantial contribution to India's monetary policy, financial stability, economic growth, earning respect both nationally and internationally. During his tenure as the Governor of the Bank of India, Dr. Reddy was instrumental in navigating the Indian economy through turbulent times. His strategic approach to monetary policy helped maintain financial stability and fostered an environment conducive to sustainable growth. His ability to balance inflation control by promoting economic growth exemplifies his deep understanding of the intricacies of economic management. Dr. Reddy's expertise is not limited to monetary policy. He has played a pivotal role in regulatory reforms and financial inclusion initiatives. His tenure saw significant advancements in the banking system including improvements in supervision and regulation, which have lasting impact on the stability of the financial sector. Known for his visionary leadership, Dr. Reddy has often emphasized the importance of a proactive monetary policy that responds to the dynamic nature of the global economy. His insights into relationship between monetary policy and macroeconomic stability have informed not only Indian policies but also inspired economists and policymakers around the globe. Beyond his administrative roles, Dr. Reddy is a prolific academic whose writings delve into critical economic issues, providing valuable perspectives on globalization, financial markets and governance. His scholarly contribution have enriched the discourse on economic policy and have established him as a thought leader in the field. Dr. Reddy's commitment to public service is evident in his various roles in the government and in the academia. He has served on several important committees and boards, contributing to expertise to various facets of economic governance. His dedication to enhancing economic policy Knowledge has made him a respected mentor to many emerging economists. As a trailblazer in Indian economic landscape, Dr. Reddy exemplifies the qualities of effective leadership, innovative thinking, unwavering commitment to public service. His role in shaping India's monetary policy and steering the economy through phases of both growth and challenge cannot be overstated. In his autobiography, Advice and Dissent, he states, and I quote, I am less forthright and frustratingly non-humorous, 
with an inverted commas. But he has a devastating sense of humor that only a scholar can have. He wrote in the autobiography, I became popular as an ex-governor more than a governor. How and why did this happen? Have I explained the reasons for our being both conservative and innovative in our policies? A governor has to exhibit quiet confidence, neither exuberance nor diffidence. He has to often pretend that the RBI is independent without offending the government. We are not equal to the government, but have to convince others that we are not subordinate to it. My work as a governor was challenging and at times fascinating. I complete the quote. When he asked about whether he believed in a single objective for the central bank for maintaining price stability, he answered, within quotes, Yes, I believe in a single objective, which is to protect the economy from the government of India. <laughs> the TIOL Knowledge Foundation is proud to present the TIOL Fiscal Heritage Award 2024 to Dr. Reddy in recognition of his exemplary contribution to the field of economics, financial stability, and public service. With a big hand, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Sridhar. And now I request Honorable Justice A.K. Patnaik, former Judge Supreme Court of India, to kindly do the honors and present the TIOL Fiscal Heritage Award on Dr. Y.V. Reddy. Dr. Y.V. Reddy's prudent and insightful approach to monetary policy, particularly during times of economic turbulence, played a critical role in safeguarding India's financial stability and we are honored to have him with us to receive this award from TIOL. Many congratulations to you, Dr. Reddy. So please take your seat. We are all waiting to hear from you. I'll give you the mic. You can just address them while sitting. I'm most grateful to everyone here. But in view of my not very capable, I, I'm doubting my own capacities to express properly, orally in the presence of such August gathering. So I requested my daughter to give a speech which I have prepared with your permission. We have Miss Kavita Reddy, his daughter, here with us. Can you please welcome her onto the dais with a huge round of applause? Thank you very much for the kind words spoken about me. I am indeed humbled and beholden to you all, in particular the esteemed jury. Respected Deputy Chairman of Rajya Sabha, Justices of the Supreme Court, esteemed members of the jury, and distinguished guests, I am grateful to the organizers, especially Mr. Shailendra Kumar, for inviting me to this prestigious event and to the esteemed jury for honoring me with this award. I am also delighted to be in the company of Larry Summers, with whom I have had the pleasure of working on several occasions. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the contributions of my wife, Geeta Reddy, my children, Kavita, Aditya, 
Hari and Shweta, my two siblings, and the members of my extended family and friends who have been a source of strength and comfort. This is also an opportunity to express my gratitude to all my gurus, especially Dr. Rangarajan and Dr. Bimal Jalan. They have spent their entire lives devoted to public service and I'm grateful to them. Additionally, the political leadership has been very kind to me. Nothing we have achieved would have been possible without their support and understanding. It is also important for me to recognize my colleagues and all the professionals who have been part of my public life. I would particularly like to acknowledge the contributions of the foot soldiers of public policy. By foot soldiers, I mean the drivers who always arrive on time, the cleaning staff who keep the offices ready every day, and many others like them. In a way, this honor is for all the people without whom our system would not function. Not many of you might know that a few years ago, I was at a low point physically. I had to take a crucial decision about my health. Should I opt for a difficult surgery or not? The doctors had bluntly laid out the chances. While they said the likelihood of recovery was fair, they warned that improvement would be minimal or could be minimal. My children and my wife convinced me to opt for the surgery. They said they wanted to see me do the things I love to do. One of the things I love most is my work. It is next to impossible for me to imagine a life without work. After the surgery, I was able to work on a couple of books, edit a book of essays with contributions from colleagues, and write some papers. All, these, all this has given me immense satisfaction. In fact, part of, parts of this speech are excerpts from the upcoming book of essays. Indeed, work has been an indispensable part of the lives of the people in my generation. And we understood that we were privileged to be placed in a unique moment in history. We were aware that we were not just working for a living, but were helping an infant nation Born against, born against all odds out of the heady victory of independence and the aftermath of partition to find its feet and grow wings. Many of us felt a great debt to the leaders who struggled and sacrificed for independence. We suspected that the work we were doing would lay the societal, economic, and political foundations for the future of India. When I look back, I see that my time in public service has been a great adventure and a journey of some consequence. I am grateful to the people in my life who made it all possible. Again, thank you to the organizers for this award. I'm very happy to accept it. Thank you.